look, I know this is awkward. I really don't know what to say to you. I don't even know what I'm doing at the mall today. I don't know what I was looking for. But I, I, I guess that makes sense because the mall is where you go when you don't know what you want because the mall has everything. <laughs> I don't know. Oh, I, I, I don't know a lot about anything. At least of all myself. But I know that I want to take this chance and talk to you. I I have to because I I don't know when I'm going to know what I want again and, and if I don't act on these feelings right now, I'm going to regret it. I saw you across the food court and you were so radiant. I saw you and I just knew. What are you talking about? I followed you in, I followed you out. What is your decision? <laughs> my decision? Yeah. yeah. I think we've seen where my decision has led so far. Uh, let, let, let's recap. I lead a band of plundering vandals to one of the greatest archaeological finds of recorded history, thus enabling the kidnap and or murder of the royal family. Oh, not to mention, personally, delivering one of the most powerful forces known to man into the hands of a mercenary nutcase who's probably going to sell it to the Kaiser! Have I left anything out? To see one, two, three, hello. Yes. Well, here we go. Ship's log, um, one. <laughs> so I decided to make a journal of life on board ship and send it off in a probe. Since, since the turn of 28, I feel a new maturity about myself. In fact, I can't even remember the last time I urinated on Rimmer from the top of the day. I wouldn't have it Friday. But apart from that one lapse, maturity-wise, I'm practically up there with Abe Lincoln and Moses. So, um, just recently, we came across a craft by, piloted by ourselves from 15 years into the future. We had a bit of an argument, and they attacked us. Um, see attached to the video for more details, but um, basically, we were no match. They killed us and destroyed everything on board ship, including the time drive, which meant there was no time drive for them to have in the future to bring back into the past and destroy the future of their past selves in the present. Put simply, by killing us, they killed themselves, because once we were dead, it was impossible for us to become them in the future and return time to destroy ourselves in the past, even though it was the present. Just so hang on. It is important to note that suddenly, and against all probability, a sperm whale had been called into its existence several miles above the surface of an alien planet. But since this is not a naturally tenable position for a whale, this innocent creature had very little time to come to terms with its identity. This is what it thought as it fell. <clears throat> ah! Whoa, what is happening? Who am I? Why am I here? Whoa, 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 what is my purpose in life? What do I mean by who am I? Okay, okay. Get a grip. Calm down. Get a grip. Oh, oh, oh this is an interesting sensation. <laughs> oh, what is it? It is a sort of a tingling in my... Well, I suppose I better start finding names for things. Uh, let's call it a... a tail. Yeah, a tail. Uh, and hey, what's this roaring sound whooshing past my, what I'm suddenly going to call my head? Wind! Uh, yeah, is that a good name? Well, it'll do. Oh, oh, oh this, this is really exciting. I'm dizzy with anticipation. Oh, oh, is that the wind? Oh, there's an awful lot of it now, isn't there? And what's this thing coming towards me? It's very fast, so Big and flat and round and it's a big white sounding name like ow 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 ground ground yeah that's it ground oh 
I wonder if it will be friends with me. Hello, ground! Curiously, the only thing that went through the mind of a bowl of petunias as it fell was... <sighs> oh no, not again. Many have speculated that if we knew exactly why the bowl of petunias had thought that, we should know a lot more about the nature of the universe than we do. 